Hello YouTube! And right now I am supposedly trying to solve some more tactics. The problem is though, I'm not in the mood for tactics, so this is going to go really bad. But we're going to try and see how many we can uh, cramp in, in the half an hour that I'm going to do this video. And... From the last video, I managed to get uh, way, way more drunk than I expected, actually. I hadn't eaten all day, and taking those four or five, six, I, I can't remember how many shots, but it was, um, it was some vodka there, <laughs> okay, and also the beer. Uh, but I managed to go up until 1806 in raiding. So as of now, now I've passed 208 and failed at 16. Uh, I would say that that is a reasonable um, amount. Although, those that I have failed have actually been kind of easy. And some of them, like let's say one fourth of the puzzles that I've failed at was just really weird. But okay, so let's start. And it's white to move. Black just played Queen G4. So can I play Bishop to F6? I mean Knight F6 check. The pawn has to capture on f6 and then queen g6 check. And after the king moves, bishop captures f6 is mate. I think we're going to do that. Problem solved. Okay. That one was quite nice. Uh, once you spot that this pawn on f7 is really pinned down, then... You can look at the forcing move knight f6 because that's what I initially looked at anyways, like knight f6, g captures f6, but if bishop captures f6 there, then we just lose our queen for nothing. But then I saw that this pawn was pinned, and then I saw that we have a check on g6. So, it was quite nice, quite alright. Knight g8. A weird looking position. So I'm thinking, uh, well, I'm thinking about several moves actually. But let's look at knight takes e6 check first. Then he has only one move, he has to capture back. And then, queen h6 check. That's impossible, oh my god. So that's not gonna work. <laughs> wow. Okay. don't see it. I really don't. <laughs> wow. What about Bishop captures G6? Well, if f captures g6, then there's knight captures e6, which wins the queen. But what about h captures g6? Then rook captures h8, king captures h8, rook 
h1 check we king back to g7 then rook h7 check king f7 king f8 sorry and then knight captures e6 but what about king captures g6 what then after bishop captures g6 king captures g6 what do we do then it's not like we have many options is it <laughs> and still he can even capture the e yeah, I can't play bishop capture g6 because it's pinned by the bishop on b7. So what am I missing here? What am I missing? So tell me what can I play in this position? I just want to know what I'm going to do. I would very much like to force a mate on you, but I know I can't really win over you. Why is this so hard? Rook capture stage 7, check. Rook capture stage 7, and then <laughs> and then what really I could also just play uh, Queen captures f7 check though and then rook captures and then knight captures e6 check is that actually a checkmate Oh my freaking god, that is a checkmate. Thank you very much. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I didn't see that checkmate, but it should be obvious. It should be obvious. Very obvious. All right, next one. Knight mm -mm -mm. to b5. All right. That checkmate though, <laughs> that was really something. Hmm. What am I gonna play here? Knight c5, knight captures c7, knight captures b3, knight captures e8, knight captures a1. I know there's a lot of other options there as well. But knight c5, what what is white gonna play? Queen c3. And then You know what? I'm just gonna take on e5, because after knight capture c7 then I have rook c6. I mean queen c6 and after knight captures on a8 I can actually capture the bishop on c4 and the knight is still trapped on a8 and after my bishop moves out from c8 let's say to g4 or f5 then I will probably uh, just be winning let's do that problem solved okay so next one queen to e4 <laughs> wow so knight h3 check king h1 only move 
the knight captures f2 check. The rook has to take it or else he's going to lose his queen. White is going to lose his queen. And then after rook captures f2, then I have rook d1 check, which leads to a checkmate. So well, let's do that. <laughs> okay, thank you. Problem solved. Okay, next one. Bishop g6, all right. Uh-huh. I can just take that. Check. Check again. And... <laughs> how do I checkmate him? So going back to g6, and then king h8, and then queen h5 check. Seems like a good move. Now here. Okay. Let's go here. What? <laughs> okay. That's just super weird. Check. No! Check by taking the rook. What the hell? Alright. <laughs> okay. Like everything is winning in that position. It's so super dumb. So dumb. But alright. But yeah, capturing the king has to go back to g8. Then queen g6. With made to follow either on g7 if the king goes to h8 or to f on f7 if the king captures on f8. Alright. Thank you very much. Bishop captures d3. So I was a bit carried away there <laughs> by the long continuation. I thought it was just like three or four moves. But it kept on with the queen capturing on d4 and stuff like that. Super weird. Supero Verdo. I think I can just take. This rookie one is not mate. Alright, let's do that. Really? This is just a main in two. Isn't it? Okay, three, four, five. Okay, so knight h3 is the better move. Apparently. Or is it? I, I don't understand. What? Okay, so what if I just do that? And then there and then here. Alright. Now I see. Okay. <laughs> but anything leads to mate, and as long as it leads to mate, I don't see the problem with it. Almost every game leads to mate, though. <laughs> okay. Check. Mate. So now, now I'm back. To getting those 1450 rated puzzles. <laughs> That's how it is. King f7. Okay. Queen h5 check. King go to f6, g8, or f8. If it goes to f8, I don't know what to do. If it goes to g8, I have bishop to h7 check at least. But I don't see a mate. I really don't. Uh... What about 
Bishop g6 check. King captures g6, queen h5 check. King has to go to f6. And then queen f5 checkmate. Let's do that. Okay, problem solved. Bishop captures f6. Yup, yup, yup. <laughs> so how do how do we want to do this? Do we want to capture the bishop or do we want to capture the queen? If we capture the queen, he's going to capture our queen. Then we can capture on c3. Uh, so we win. We win a piece. If we let's say capture on f6. Then queen captures f6, pawn captures f6, and we win nothing. But we have to have more than that, maybe. Because we're just going to end up having two versus two. Two bishops versus a knight and a bishop or two knights. C captures d4, bishop captures d8, pawn captures c3, bishop g5, pawn captures b2, rook b1, bishop a3, What? It looks winning. But... Is there anything more substantial than that? If I take on f6, then I don't see anything. And if I take on h2 with check... Let's say knight captures on h2. C captures d4, then I'm just giving away another piece. So C captures d4, it seems like the only move here actually. Yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> let's do here actually. Is there a reason why I shouldn't go for another rook? Why? Why shouldn't I just take on c3? Because if I take on d8, I think that if it takes, then I have. But it it doesn't matter really. I'm just a stupid, stupid person. Problem solved, and that was rated fourteen hundred and seventy-seven. Like, this is winning after bishop a3 or bishop e5 after f6. And then, and then just capturing on a2. But I wanted something more. Something more substantial. Something more for the buck, you know. Next one. Knight to c4. Uh-huh. Bishop takes c4. Should win on the spa. Not on the spa, but on the spot. That's what I intended to say. <laughs> I know it sounds like spa. Bishop captures c4. How the hell is he going to get out of there? Let's do it. Problem solved. Okay. Next one. King to d8. All right. So let's play c7, check. No, let's play d7 first actually. d7 wins. Because d7 then, if he moves his king, then d8 is a queen. 
And if he doesn't move his king, then we have c7 to check yeah, either way. In which he has to move his king. So, d7 wins. Thank you. Let's just promote. Thank you very much indeed. Next one. F captures e5. I need some more drinks. And this is not alcohol or an alcoholic beverage. This is just regular soda. Try not to show you guys which one. Which is quite impossible actually. It's cold. So rook d1 looks fun. And after knight c to d7. Then what do we play? <laughs> I can also just play knight to g5 here. That would have also been quite fun, because you attack the bishop on e6, and the knight on d5 has to defend it, but it can't. Knight g5 looks really promising. If after knight g5 and then knight f6, then I still have bishop captures e6 check before moving my queen, so I'm, I'm just going to do that. Alright, bishop f5. Then I can capture here and check. All right, <laughs> easy peasy. A captures B five. A captures B five, H five, H four, and the Black King has to move somewhere. And either way, I'll get two pass pawns. It should be substantial. Let's just take. Problem solved. Okay. Bishop d3. What? So if I take the queen takes back. <coughs> then I have e6. If the pawn captures c6 and I have e7 and there's no way to stop e8 queen. Uh, if we play something else, let's say queen captured d6 and I still have e7. And yeah, due to that knight, so I'm just gonna do that. Problemo solvado. King g4. Queen of five check. King H five. Queen H three check. No. <laughs> Queen H three, what am I thinking? So after King H five then G four. King H four. Maybe not. Queen of five check, king h5. If queen h3 check, then king captures g5, then rook f5 is mate. Okay. 
we're gonna go with that problem solved yeah and he captures b6 Let's do it. So I was more about the concern about this rook uh, than anything else because I wanted to play this check, but I didn't see that the bishop on g4 was hanging until the very last second, and then just yeah, go with the flow, man, go with the flow. So what's wrong with d6 here? Or even just knight h5. But d6 first and then knight h5. <laughs> Alright, d6 doesn't work uh, for knight h5 due to queen a5. But let's say knight h5. And let's say pawn captures. I think that's probably the only move. Then queen g5 check. King h8. Uh, queen back to f6. Check. Why do I have to give that check? Huh. Like, I don't see a good move after knight h5, pawn captures h5, actually. I mean, I have bishop e4. But nah, nah. <laughs> no. What is wrong with this position other than that? Don't you wish your pieces was here with you or me? Don't you? What the hell? So knight h5, g captures h5, bishop e4, queen d8, I literally don't see it. I don't see a goddamn thing. Knight captures g6 might be good though. Knight captures g6. H captures g6. F can't capture. And then just rook b4. Really? Okay, so what seems to be wrong with that? Let's try this move then. Nope. Nope. Okay. But what's wrong with knight, knight takes g6? It seems like a good move. Ah, 
<laughs> okay, just kicking back the queen. I'm, I'm stupid. Okay, so this was the last puzzle I'm going to do today. Um, I managed to solve some of them at least, but it's not as good as I wanted to do. So now I've failed at 19, which is three more puzzles. Alright, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. Bye.